power line route. 1530 So, so first things first, right? You did this last time too and I was happy with it. I have no issue. Um, you did your flight plan first. So you come over here, you did your flight plan. You normally want to do it on this page because it's nicer. Mm -hmm. So first thing we're going to do is we'll actually put in, because I don't, I want to do, a, uh, let's do C, uh, what E. Next, we'll just do a task one. Okay, cool. So you did this first, right? Yeah. Hit a procedure, select approach, up to here, you know everything what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I have no issue with that. Load it. So now we have that on there, and that's all good. We have the flight plan there. Cool. Sweet. Uh, when you're ready, you can take off. Sure. Just take off? Yeah, just regular take off? Yeah, it's ready. It won't. Yeah, there's no other take off. <laughs> sure. Uh, change. There you go, heading, flight level change, 105, other way. Oh, then no, you're going to right, never mind. We'll go to 5,000 feet. Normally you can't go to 5,000 feet. You need ATC clearance for that. Where are we? So, where are we? We're, We're in Parkland, Parkland right? right? Yeah. Aren't we supposed to put it on 4,000? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't do this. I'm telling you, we're in the same. So I'm gonna oh, let sure. Yeah, I'm going to let you do it. Sure, so heading. We're all good. Yeah. Just keep this uh, whatever the altimeter is. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. So we good? Yeah, you're good to go. Uh, okay, I don't judge you on the takeoff and landing this thing. If you want it, you can just stay on the runway is all I ask. <laughs> You can't do it right away, so 500 feet is the limit for this autopilot. So you can't. So the sim when the plane will do it, mm -hmm. the limit is 500 feet. You're still gotcha. flying. You're still flying. Yeah. So when you do cruise power, so I go to cruise power now. Cruise power, then five, five, five. Yeah, it's on your side too. Both sides. There you go. Then you can hit autopilot. What do you say? Uh, heading active. No, just say autopilot engage because that because that, that changed right. That AP gotcha. changed right. It's going to give you full power actually for now because I want you to climb a little faster. So no calls? No, no. No, no, just, uh, yeah, pretend you call, you got your clearance, you're good. So now, let's say clearance gives you direct, actually, I'll get you to do it. How would you go, if, if ATC said you're clear, direct tag gap, how would you do it? Uh, direct tag gap. Yeah. Direct there. Yeah. Direct, uh, direct, direct. Yeah. And then? And then nav. You, you change something up there, so what do you say? Uh, GPS. Thank you. <laughs> you're just reading what's on here. Yep. You can push whatever button here, and we have to read what's on here. That's the only downside because you hit nav here, but it's GPS here. Mm -hmm. So if you say GPS, I know you're actually reading up here. If you hit nav and don't say anything, you don't know what's going on yep. here, right? You want to make sure that it was actually engaged. Yeah, and it's this that matters. This doesn't mean shit. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. So, as a quick exercise, I say, I say Echo Fox Shot Whiskey have a holding clearance for you when you are ready. Fox out whiskey, you are clear to hold a tag in on the inbound the three one three nine or let's just say one two zero. Let's just say one two zero. Sorry. Inbound one two on the inbound track one two zero, all turns left. Maintain five thousand feet. Expect further clearance at whatever zoom. Um uh, yeah, don't read it back, but you get the idea, right? Sure. Yeah. Cool. So first things first, you have the hold, right? Yep. So what kind of hold entry is it? Uh, so we're our heading is 139, the outbound is 300, it's going to be the red. 
to be direct, okay? So you yep. know that, right? All turn left makes life simple, okay? Yep. Now, you know the entry, you know it's gonna be direct, you know it's left turn. How to make it easier in the G1000? Hit the direct button. Scroll down. Hold bearing. Hold, no. Hold, enter. You put it in. So you yeah, it's a 130, right? Inbound track 130. So you make it 130. In, enter. You know that's the inbound, right? Inbound track 130. Turn turns, go to turns, you see how this is right? Oh yeah. Turn right. left, activate. Holds in there for you. It's already in there for you. Awesome. Can you fly this with autopilot? Uh, the, the hold? Yeah. Yes. It will. Make yeah. sense? No, because it's showing. Now it's holding there. So now you have, now after you have 130, 130, you just have to make sure, okay, does that look right? You can see it's kind of dashed there. You have to make sure, okay, does that look right? Yeah, left Okay, turn. that looks what? Well, that looks actually right. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Now the hold is done. Yep. You can forget about the fucking hold. Yep. What's the second thing you want to look at? Because you got a hold in clearance, you want to check? Yeah, um, expect further clearance and your fuel. Yeah. So what you always you check mean? fuel. Yep. Right? Can you do that? Do I mean, we, we didn't get. Uh, yeah, you're just going to a task one, so you have yeah. what? Well, Pretty much three hours to play with? Yeah. So you can do it. Yeah. But do we always slow down in the hold? Do we always slow down in the hole? Yeah. Um, it depends on what your current speed is. No, so let's say, well, if let's you're you're cruising, you're at cruise, right? You're at cruise speed, right? You yep. would normally be at cruise speed in the situation, right? Yep. So would you want to slow down? Uh, this is 140, yes. Yeah, you always slow down to what inches? Uh, what, 18 inches? 18, 19. Yeah. Uh, we say 19, you say 18. Mm -hmm. One inch is going to make a difference, but you always slow down. It doesn't matter if you have fuel for 10 hours. Mm -hmm. You always slow down because why? There's no point of rushing inside the hole. Yeah. What is the point of burning more fuel in the hole? Yep. And going faster. It yep. makes no difference. It doesn't matter who you fly for Air Canada, WestJet, here. You always slow down. Yep. But the big thing is a lot of students are missing is checking the fuel in general. What? Yep. Yeah. This is more of a captain thing. I'm kind of putting my captain knowledge to you. Yeah. It's more um, like a, considering the bingo time, right? Yeah. Some school uh, teach about bingo time. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what you guys call it, but I don't, we don't call it bingo. <laughs> but we have Air Canada calls bingo something else. Yeah. It's called bin inspected. Now go. That's what bingo stands for for us. Um, so yeah. Make sense? Yep. So I'm gonna speed it up, and you'll see for you when you roughly want to start slowing down the aircraft. Uh, roughly when, when you're about to enter the hole. Yeah, or two minutes prior. You can actually see it here. Yep. If you cannot see it on your side. If you do it this way, <coughs> you can't see the time. Mm -hmm. You only you only can see it here distance-wise. Yep. But if you open it this way, which this is how you'll be flying in the plane, mm -hmm. you'll see the time over here. Yep. Okay. ETE so to the next. I'll speed you up until you get... ETE will always be the ETE for, to the next waypoint, is it? Always the next one, yeah. So from if you pass tag it, but from tag it to ex 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 axu, whatever that is. You know what I'm From tag it to ex axu, axu, which is the five yeah. half or whatever. Yep. After xc you be from xu to run one two will be the ET. Mm -hmm. It'll always be the next waypoint. Yeah. Or whatever's next on your flight plan. So, so whatever's next on here. Yeah. With this situation, this is the time that we ask permission to uh, the terminal that we're gonna switch if we're gonna leave the hole because we're inside technically inside the. Uh, You're not approach. actually. No, once I'm um, once we are on the hold. Yeah, so when you're holding, I would do your radio call quickly to a task with. Gotcha. But I wouldn't do it prior to that. Oh no, of course. Yeah. Just before you leave the hold. Yeah. Or not even just before. I would do it when you're like just once you say echo, you know, terminal echo for shut whiskey entering the hold, he'll say Roger mm -hmm. and then switch quickly, cooking like or what task with traffic in this situation. Uh what task with traffic, five percent of the echo box shot whiskey. We're just orbiting. 10 miles to the north northeast of the airport uh, on a 10 mile final from way one to start anticipating start of the approach in around 10 minutes mm. then they'll be like okay that makes sense yep. yeah. make sense yep so you're coming to two minutes so I'll slow that plane down a little bit so around 19 18 whatever you want yeah so in the real you know in the real plane that is not this far apart yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you know that. I went inside the plane yesterday. I was like, this is way different. It's way closer. Yeah. yeah. Just this is King Air Sim too. Mm hmm. That's why. Well, now we're slow down. Can you push the button again? The red button. I like flying like this. Mm -hmm. Everyone's different. Yep. But you get you get much more better situational awareness. Yep. Yeah, thank you so 
Sono <ride> We're on nav mode, so it will turn on itself. It will do everything by itself. Yeah. Because yep. you're doing a GPS mode. Yep. It will change it into a VOR mode. <laughs> and you'll yep. see what I mean. With VOR, you need to play around with the heading. Yes. Gotcha. It actually tells you what kind of entry you're doing. Yeah, pull okay. direct. Right? Yep. So then, now, I'm gonna, this is the question I'm going to ask you. Do you need to do a timer? Uh, no, not necessarily. Because Why? Uh, it will automatically, because we said earlier that it says one minute every turn, every leg, exactly. basically. So now, zero, four, three, two, one, then you tell terminal you're entering the hold. Yeah. Make sense? Yep. If you get a GPS hold in the IFR flight test, it's this easy. Yeah. You don't have to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> let the plane do it. Yep. The VR hold gets a little bit more complicated because you cannot let the GPS do the hold for you. Yep. And you know what's the reason for that? Uh, discrepancy. I mean, between the heading. I mean, between the uh, VOR and the GPS. Yes, because if you know this, I'd be very surprised. If you were in terminal airspace, what is the GPS limit in terms of like accuracy? You may know this. You may not. <laughs> I'm not uh, you're in terminal airspace. One, two, three. So wow. it is technically one, two, three. One, two point three. Yes, technically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, terminal, terminal. Terminal is one on route two and approach is point three. Yeah, so terminal is one nautical mile. No. So one nautical mile is a pretty big range to have, right? Yeah. Therefore, it's not as accurate as the VOR. But if terminal asks your ATC says you have to, you're doing a hold on a VOR, they expect the sensitivity of a VOR. Mm -hmm. That's why it's not one nautical mile of VOR. Yeah. It's much more sensitive. Yep. Therefore, depending can, how close you are to yeah, and therefore you cannot use a GPS for a VR hold because of that reason. Yep. Make sense? Yep. Okay. Good. That's a lot to do with sensitivity. Yeah, that's all it is. Because they expect if they, if they say do a VR hold, they expect a VR sensitivity. If you do a GPS hold, they expect GPS sensitivity in a mile roughly from where yep. it is. Right. Makes sense. Yep. This whole pretty make makes it pretty makes pretty much easy sense now, right? Yep. Okay. Cool. And then here's the uh, when you once we're done with the hold, that this is when you push the spend, and then it will go direct to the. No, it won't. So we'll actually talk about that. It won't do that. If you if you if so you, you can hit suspend now, and you'll see what happens. So it will do that. It will turn you inbound. But it's still on the. Yeah. So the hole's still in there. You see how the holes, you see how it's turning you directly to, to tag it or whatever? Yeah, and yeah. there's no down R going yeah. to the fast. It's not doing that for you. Yep. So if you want to exit the hole, this is how you would actually do it. So first things first, you would ask the terminal, say, hey, I'm done with the hole. Yep. First things first, this is the foolproof way. I go hit direct, or and I go tag it, activate. I'll ask you to remove hold and tag it. Yep. Yes. Now, Oh, oh, sorry. No, it's fine. Just FLC. Now you can see it's tag it, I see you run away. Yep. That is the foolproof way of doing it. Another way you can do it is go to procedure, activate approach, mm -hmm. and then come in here manually and delete the hold. You mm -hmm. have to delete the hold. If you, anytime you see hold below tag it, mm -hmm. it will still hold. Gotcha. Does that make sense? So for example, if I quickly add a hold for you, I'm sure one, two, seven is fine. Activate that. Now the hold is in there, right? Mm. If I if I go to procedure, activate approach, you see how the hold is still in there? Yep. You have to manually come in here. And there, right? Oh, Press cancel. clear, remove holding pattern. Then it's activated. Does that make sense? That's the two differences. That's why it's I like my way better, where it's, uh, I'll go turn left here. How, did, how do we add hold again? Oh, so whatever waypoint, direct. direct. All the way out of the hole. Oh, there you go. Right. Makes sense? Yep. Again, my way better, direct, enter, enter. Now, sometimes it doesn't ask you. You see how it, I said direct, enter, enter, it doesn't do anything? Yeah, it's because it's... Then you have to go in here and clear the hold yourself. Mm. Does that make sense? Yep. Question, comment, concerns on that? Nope. Okay. What I'm gonna do now, so now these aren't synced right now, so you see how it says hold here? Yeah. It's just not syncing. It what? will sync over time. Oh, okay. In the real plane, it's instant. In the sim, it just takes a while. You see how it's gone? Yeah. Simply late. Yeah. Um, and then what I'll do is now, I'm going 
going to put in you know, book direct. So that's GPS tools. That, is there any questions on that before we move on? No, we're good. That's pretty simple, eh? Yep. Okay. Especially if it's going to apply on its own. Yeah, and you can see, if you do a hold, it actually figure out the time for you. Uh, there you go. So you're going to go direct to Edmonton VOR, okay? So at first, this is your flight plan. You have Edmonton VOR in there. Um, you're going Edmonton VOR, right? Top there, direct Edmonton VOR. I, I'm going to get rid of all this because you don't need any of this crap. Y H E K is step two. Okay, so now you have Y G. You're going direct there. I can go to just to make sure direct enter enter. There you go. Okay. Um, so the terminal comes up to you. Is the Echo Fox should whisk give a holding clearance for you when you're ready? Uh, terminal, go ahead. Echo Fox whiskey. Echo Fox whiskey. What? Uh, you're hold. You're cleared to hold. Uh, at the Edmonton VOR on the two seven inbound on the two seven zero radio, all turns left, maintain five thousand feet spot. Expect further clearance at seventeen hundred zero. Oh, appear to Edmonton VOR uh, inbound tra uh, two seven zero all turn left turn, maintain five thousand. Expect further clearance one seven well uh, seventeen zero. Yeah. So two so two seven zero inbound radio. So good. Now figure out what hold entry you're gonna do first. Um, inbound radio, so just like what you said, in this is uh, your outbound. So 270, so our heading right now is 298. So 298, left turn, that's gonna be parallel entry. You sure? 299, yeah. Oh, wait. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so this is here. I, I, I was thinking that this is our heading, it's the other way around, so <laughs> it's, it's lesser, so it's offset. Okay, Good job. <laughs> makes sense? It's yep. offset. So now, same thing, yeah? So when you're ready, you can go to hold. Uh, inbound truck. So, so put 270, because that's what you wrote down. Yeah, 270, and then just change it to uh, uh, outbound. Yes. Enter. Now you look at this again. Once you have it in there, you take a look. Is it offset? Did I get it right? Yep. It's kind of hard to see between this and a parallel, but this is an offset entry. Yep. You can see, okay, it is an offset entry, I got it right. Mm -hmm. Now, could you, now, this is the issue that we have. If you need to, because you need to be on VOR, right? You can't be on pink, like I said. Yep. It won't work, because one mile sensitivity is too much. Yep. How would you set this up? This is the way you would do it. First things first, is figure out what that VOR frequency is. Oh, correct. Which is 117.6. So, you know your navs on your side? So, 117.6. 117.6. Okay, switch it over. Click down, go down on the second nav. Go 117.6. 117. And click it over. So, this is your tips check, right? Yep. Tune, you have it identified because it tells you YEG. Yep. Test and set. This is when you go, you click on your heading button because that's your current heading. Yep. And then you hit heading. Uh, and then heading. You say heading. Heading. Then, then you switch your CDI to VOR. Then you test it, which is by this, right? All testing is, is doing 1360, the flag flips, right? That's your test, right? So you just flip it all the way, it's flipping. Okay, if the flags are opposite of each other, yep. flip it again. Keep going, keep going, going. Perfect, makes sense. Now you tested it. Yep. Now you gotta set it. How would you set it for 270? Uh, 270 will be, this is the, uh, oh, sorry, not pause, I will, I'll freeze it, go ahead. 270 is the outbound. So how would you set it? There, it is, it's the outbound, right? So would you want to put the heading on the 270? There you go. 0090. Does that make sense? Yep. Or you can put the tail on 270. <laughs> that makes sense so far. Yep. Now, if I ask you, this is the same question I asked you yesterday, how do you know you're going towards the VOR? Because this VOR is not set up properly for you right now. Mm -hmm. So how do you know if you're going towards the VOR right now? You have no idea, no. other than looking here. Yeah. This is where the plane is nice. You hit PFD, you hit bearing one, bearing two. It's gonna show you. You see how these blue arrows come in? As long as your heading bug is pointing right or going towards that area, yep. 
now you're tracking towards the VOR properly. Because this is behaving like an HSI. Exactly, it's more like an NDB, I guess. It will always point towards the beacon. Yeah, yeah. but with, with NDB, you don't need to uh, compute for the your heading, relative bearings. Yeah, you don't have to do that, yeah. But HSI, just follow the arrow. Yeah, exactly. So I'll the water. Does that make sense? Yep. Oh, sorry. So that's why when I asked you yesterday, how are you going towards the yeah. VOR? This is you I had no been. way of doing it. Yeah. Now, uh, it's gonna go. It's, it's gonna go in three minutes. I'm gonna let it fly for a little bit. This it will actually on on here because you put it in your GPS. It will tell you when to turn and do that. But you cannot use the GPS again. This is just for situational awareness and reference. Mm -hmm. You cannot follow it. Meaning when this says hold offset, turn heading to this heading in five, four, three, two, one, turn now, you cannot follow that. Mm. You still have to follow just what you see on your the flag. VOR. Yeah. That's the only downside. So you have to be on heading the whole time. Yep. Right? Like holding the heading and then yeah. it. However, it will still give you a timer, but you can I would still recommend not to use it. Use timer. Exactly. Make sense? Yep. So, when do you start the timer going outbound? Once you cross, once the, uh, the flag flip. Or? Uh, area of ambiguity, when you get it? No, so so what, what I'm looking for is, because sometimes because of there's a like massive wind, oh. right? So it's pushing you so that the flag might flip super quickly. Oh yeah, right? or and then the HSI will flip. This, uh, the, uh, the bearing. Well, that's method. the flag flipping, that's the same thing, right? Mm. It's either flag flipping or your wings are level, whichever comes later, or whichever mm. comes last. Mm. Okay. So if you, fl if you have a massive tailwind when you're turning outbound and then you pass the flag, you do not stop the timer until you are hitting that actual, um, until your wings are level. You can I mean, our wings are level now and it seems like it's just going to go... Yeah, because you have no winds right now. So you, it, right, right now, once the flag passes, you'll start it. Gotcha. Because your wind's like, yeah. However, you may not. Okay. Yep. So, uh, if you're going inbound, it's wings. It's, so it's either wings level or the track passes you. Those are the two different ways. Okay. Now, what heading are you gonna fly when you when you pass the fix? Uh, outbound two seven zero C. So offset by uh, thirty degrees. So what heading? Uh, three zero zero. So you're pretty much one degree off. Yeah. So, so you just leave it. <laughs> we just leave it at yeah. this point, right? You can be precise if you want to, um, but not a big deal. So you can change it to three zero zero now if you wanted to, because you're going towards the VOR anyway. So yeah. does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Hundred percent. Now, once the flag flips, you'll start your timer. This is an indication of like one not one crosswind from the right. right. Just be aware though that in the same it's correct when you turn, you see this whole teardrop. So you know you're using an offset, you got that right. Yep. Um, just be aware in the plane when you're turning, it's inaccurate. If you're straight and level, it's accurate. If you're turning, it's not. In the same it's accurate no matter what. So you see how it gives you a countdown, three zero six or whatever? Mm -hmm. Don't follow that. So he's flipping, there you go. You're passing that line for a second, wait until the flag flips. As you see how this VOR is flipping. Yep. There's a flip. You start now, and it just fly out for one minute. This is the uh, the one we were waiting for, right? Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Because that will always point towards the VOR. I was telling you yeah. to turn earlier, do yeah. not follow that. You need to follow what you're doing. Gotcha. Do we need to always reset this or just... You just, can just turn it. Turn it just, first. Always turn first. Yeah. Then you can reset it whenever you want, right? That's not the issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turn. What heading? 
do you want? Uh, nine zero. Yeah. You can turn it faster. <laughs> so you're going slower as so I'm like, is he trying to stop somewhere in there? No, I'm trying to avoid, you know, when you pass the tail and then it will try to go the other way. When oh, you, it won't when, do when that. It, it won't do that. When you turn It won't fast. do that. This plane won't do that. Mm. I see what you're saying, but this plane is far enough to continue on that way because you started that way. Gotcha. I see what you're saying, but it won't do that. So you can reset it now because you're not doing anything, right? You can leave yeah. it. Yeah, because you're just relying on when you're doing your level. Yeah. Now you can fix it, right? Because you're a little off, yeah. right? So you can fix it a little bit. Small changes as a super sensitive, right? Mm -hmm. This is the only time you can use this lead in line. This blue line is a pretty good indicator, but again, it's just there for reference. Gotcha. So don't Let's use it too much. Rely on yeah, thing. still rely on that. So your wings were level, right? Yep. So then come in there. You can see it's slowly coming in. So you want to slowly lead it in. I'm super leaving it, right? Because I know eventually I'm going to cross that over, right? Yeah. And there you go, zero, 090. Zero. Zero nine, zero nine, once you get close, it's going to move away a little bit. Mm -hmm. Leave it. Don't worry about it. Right. So when do you start the timer? When the, uh, the flip. Yeah. So you can stop that first. So you would stop that. Oh, you, it didn't flip yet. You see how now it flipped? You see how it yep. flipped now? So it wait a little bit longer. Oh, I just reset it. You don't want to reset it. Because oh. you want to wait until that flag flips because you need to see if that inbound leg is one, one minute. One minute, yeah. Yes, you don't want to reset it. <laughs> gotcha. Make sense? Yep. That's a VR hole. Question comments and concerns? No. Makes life easier if I, after I explain this to you, right? They're making it look easy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um... I'm gonna put you on the ground, you gotta take off. I'm gonna do a mock flight. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay. Alright, so, same thing. I'm gonna set you up to. For, oh, put the park brake on. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put. Oh, let's give you see, uh, yeah, that for now. Let's give you a little off in the heading, so I'll give you kind of like that. Flight plan, I'm gonna get rid of all this for now. Okay, your flight plan will be this. I'm going to put it in for you. What's cooking like? C E Z3? X3. X3 or Z3? X. I believe it's X. I think it's Z3. Yeah, Z3. Z3, yeah. Never doubt your instructor. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do the approach into one zero by vectors. Why not one zero? Cool. Make sense? That's your flight plan. So you're going to go to Cooking Lake. Yep. You're going to do the LNAV approach only, not the LPV. So remember what I told you, like, if you go to Procedure, how do you know if you're doing the LPV or LNAV? It actually tells you right here. This is what I'm saying. Yep. So LNAV. And if you, after you have loaded in there, it tells you right here LNAV as well. If you have the LPV, which I will give to show just for demonstration purposes. LPV shows up instead. How did that happen? I just I turned on your uh, uh, wasp. Was? Yeah, I turned on your wasp. So whatever it says on here is what the minimums are. So if there's LNAV on here, you use the LNAV minimums. 
If it's the LPV on here, you use the LPV minimums. Mm. Make sense? Mm. Okay, what's one thing you forgot yesterday too? I actually forgot to mention it to you. What's one thing you forgot? Oh, checking the wires if it's available. Yeah, so what? if you're in the air, uh, if you go here and then go to aux, like the fat knob to aux, mm -hmm. narrow knob to GPS status, you can see that it's right here. All you have to do is click on it, scroll down, compute rate. In the air. You mm -hmm. can do it on the ground too. So do it on the ground and in the air because this will give you a uh, arrival time based on your flight plan. Mm. So you don't have to fiddle with the time zone. Gotcha. Right, right now you do because you don't know right now because, okay, let's just say like you're gonna do it at 17. Because you're on the ground, the plane is not moving, right? So there's mm. no way of going there. So then you can compute the rim for that time. Make sense? Yep. Question comes concerning any of that? Yep. All making sense? Yep. Cool. It's a matter of whether I'm gonna remember it. Well, you better remember it <laughs> if you want to your IFR. Cool. And the plane will be set up like this. All right, everybody ready to take off. All radio calls will be all done. All raw laws and stuff like that will be all done properly as well. What's on your name? You go look up. There you go. Do you want roll? No, you want heading. There you go. Heading 4,000. It should be good. So partner traffic, this is Foxtrot Echo Foxtrot Whiskey taking off to 6. On departure, we'll be flying runway heading until 4000 and then we'll be switching to terminal. Park brakes off. Full power. Stay on the runway. All checklists has to be done too, so I'll give that checklist back. Oh, sure. 75. Roll out. Oh, you, hit the take, you hit the takeoff button? Yeah, I think you hit the toga button. Press the rate. Cruise power first before you hit the autopilot. Oh shoot, cruise power, sorry. Because what's number one? Aviate, right? Yeah. You choosing the autopilot is not considered aviate. You gotta aviate the plane first. That's true. <laughs> sorry about that. No, it's fine. Cruise power, 25, 25. Very good. Uh, Parking traffic, this is Echo Park, miles west of the field. We'll be switching to terminal. Hold on. Then we are on terminal, Edmonton terminal. This is uh, Foxtrot Echo Foxtrot Whiskey departed Parkland 3700, three, climbing 4000. Um, requesting IFR clearance. Echo Foxtrot Whiskey Squawk Ident. Pardon me? Squawk Ident. Squawk Ident. Squawk, squawk Ident. Echo Foxtrot Whiskey, you are radar identified. Uh, when ready, Squawk 5272. Uh, you're clear when you're ready. 5272 Echo Fox Road Whiskey, and we can, uh, we're ready for you. Uh, Echo Fox Whiskey, you're clear to the build up airport by the Cookie Lake Airport flight plan route. Climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Clear to build up uh, by a flight plan route, climb and maintain 5,000 Clear to Cookie Lake Echo Fox Road Whiskey. No, 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 you're not there, you're not clear direct there. As I said, uh, for now, uh, turn heading of uh, right 030. Turning right 030, Echo Foster Whiskey. Yeah, you're just cleared via the Cookie Lake Airport. You're not cleared to direct the Cookie Lake Airport, you're just cleared via that. Zero, 030. Zero. Cool. So uh, other way, other way, keep going. Right 030. <laughs> zero, right 030. Zero. Oh, so you see, you want left and right, so the plane doesn't know what you're doing. So go back to straight and level. So click on the button, click on it. And it'll fix itself. And then wait until it turns to the right, and then go to zero, 030. Zero. So the plane is smart enough, the moment it starts turning, it will oh, continue on that turn. Gotcha. Yeah. Zero, three, zero, we're climbing five You can probably climb high, faster than 400 feet per minute, that's just my. <laughs> the plane's fast enough.
use the bathroom while you fly there? Sure. Uh, actually, in the meantime, I'll do this. Uh, Equifasha Whiskey, you are clear direct odd fucks. I actually have your approach in there, so you can look at FLC. I have flight plan. Just scroll down. There you go. Direct at Uh, Clear direct odd fucks. Like a box of whiskey. So, is you Roger? Are you going direct odd fucks? Look up, look up. What does it say on your autopilot? Uh, direct odd fucks. No, no, no. Like Call creepy. because now. Yeah. Yeah, what do you so say? Uh, GPS. Thank you. Yeah, so that auto doesn't mean anything, right? Right. It's the green that matters. Yep. <laughs> Equipage Whiskey, I have a holding clearance for you when you're ready. Uh, Terminal Equipage Whiskey, we're ready for the holding clearance. Uh, do you want to say here? Yeah. I should have figured out the holding clearance before I said that. Equipage Whiskey, you're cleared to hold the inbound track of 105. Uh, 105, all maintain 5,000 feet. Expect further clearance at 17000. Clear inbound track. 105, uh, 107, 105, sorry, go ahead, Daniel, you're getting 105. 105, in, uh, maintain 5,000, expect further clearance of 070 Echo Fox Whiskey. So, oh. uh, direct, then hold, and then inbound track of 105. So, you didn't mention left turn, so we're showing it's right turn. Uh, here, if we are... Uh, no, don't worry about that. I hate that. Just don't, just forget you. Have to, don't do that. Four. What kind of entry is it? Um, inbound track. So, it's going to be the reciprocal, so, so 290. So 290, it's gonna be direct. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. Now you take a look. Once you figure that out, then you look. Yep. Say, that and looks verify right. and that makes sense. Exactly. <laughs> sure.
also be used for GPS. Yes, you can, yeah. Super nice, eh? Yep. That, the plane does have that, so you can use it in the plane too. Mm -hmm. Are you Filipino, Jay? Yeah, I'm Filipino. Yeah. 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 Gonzalez threw me off when I first went last Yeah. Year. I was like, ah, once I saw you, I was like, oh, I guess Filipino had a Spanish background, so. <laughs> That's right. There's a big discrepancy between engines uh, temperature, so. Not just me, that's just a big Oh, it's because it, one is open uh, and one is closed. And then trip. Turning. So terminal this is a capacitor whiskey entering the hold. Capacitor whiskey Roger. And it's um, 1700. Again, I just gave you that number. I didn't <laughs> have time, so remember check that, that number. That Zulu just gives you an uh, indication. I should check fuel. That's, That's all it is, right? Yep. This is when, what would you do? This is when I would call Cooking Lake, because you're not talking to a terminal, you're just in the hold, right? Yep. So I'll quickly call Cooking Lake. And should we ask permission to, or should we let terminal? You don't need to, no, no, no. No? You can say, Echo Fox, you can say, uh, you don't have to tell them, you can, you don't have to though. Mm. But because you know that I'm going to talk to you, right? Yeah. So, uh, Cooking Lake traffic, this is Fox Red, Echo Fox Red. Uh, whiskey. Uh, we are doing hold. We are. Uh, no, they won't know what hold. They just say we're opening ten mile final for runway one one. Expecting the approach from runway one one in ten minutes. Hmm. Something like that. Something simple, right? Because they'll know those words. Yeah, especially if BFR doesn't know what the hold means. Yeah. Gotcha. So cooking meat traffic is Echo Park shop whiskey. We are what was that? Orbiting. Orbiting. Orbiting final, we are uh, 12 miles. Is it orbiting on a 10 mile final? We'll be orbiting around a 10 mile final from a 1-1. One, one. We'll be doing the approach in about 15 minutes. We are orbiting over 10 mile final. To Keep cook, it super simple. Keep cooking late, we are expecting what, gear down in 10 minutes. 
Make sense? Yep. And then you go back to terminal. Okay. Yeah, and you go all the way back to terminal. Because I don't want to say special. Agriculture whiskey, I have no targets in Cookie Lake. You are clear and controlled airspace. Via Optux, you're clear the RNAV approach into Cookie Lake. Uh, please proceed on route uh, by uh, Otvox, Arna Runway 10, Cookie Lake. Sorry, 10, sorry, one zero. Yep. Okay, come on, Sean Whiskey, roger, and uh, you, there's no targets in Cookie Lake, you're cleared on route. In the mist, follow the published mist, and I'll talk to you then. I'm safe. Clear on route on mist, uh, we'll get back to you at Barca Whiskey. So what I can do is just cancel. No, they, they might screw it up. So again, my way is go direct auto flux first. Direct enter, enter. And I'll ask you. Yeah, oh, perfect. If you're far enough in the hole, it will get rid, it will ask you. If you're close to the hole, it won't ask you. Gotcha. And so then you got to go in and delete it. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So I'm going to get rid of your, your VNAV again. Okay, cool. So you're at 5,000 feet. You have your planning. When do you guys start descending? Uh, 5,000, how far out? Well, look at the chart first. What, what, what distance you're going to start to send? It should be on five miles, right? No, it's, well, you're at 5,000 feet. We are at 5,000, so it's somewhere eight miles. eight miles. Yeah, so eight miles. You look on here, you see it says 12.2. Mm -hmm. That's what, it when eight. that hits eight, you want to start descending. Mm -hmm. However, you want to start descending with your gear down flaps in. So around 10 nautical miles or even 11, Set up put the that. gear down. Yep. Like, so 10, I would put the gear down, 9, put the flaps in, 8, to send. Gotcha. Make sense? Your pre landing checks too if you haven't done it. Let's do it quickly. Just do, just do it. Fuel pumps on, make sure rich. Let's do that. Well, Fuel pumps on, make sure rich. Make sure rich. Make sure. Cow flaps closed. You don't need the cow flaps open. Okay. Yeah, when we are, where so. are we? 10, almost 10. 10.8, yeah, you're coming so up to it. You can wait. Two nautical miles takes a while to travel, so, right? So keep the power around 19. You don't want to slow down too much right now. Okay. There's 10 nautical miles. You're below 140. Below gear one. down. Gear down. Let the plane slow down itself. It's going to take roughly a mile to slow down anyway. Mm -hmm. Maybe even longer. Center your heading book for you. What what feet per minute are you gonna go down? Um, I'm thinking of uh, once we go and approach, it's gonna be. Uh, uh, so how you figure out here? You're gonna have to be going 90 knots around 500 40, feet. Yeah, 500, 500 feet. feet. Gotcha. Okay, it makes sense. Yep. So when do you apply the uh, times five or versus timing? If there's timing, follow the timing. If there's speed per minute and speed, just follow that. Timing is, you won't get timing anymore. So you're between, you're in N9, so drop the two flaps, so I would go one, two. There you go. Right at eight, hit VS. You can hit VS now if you want to. Just don't push anything. All that you're climbing, don't climb. Okay. You're eight, go full 500 feet per minute. Right away. There you go, pull the power back a little bit, because just a little bit, just a little bit. Now yeah, fly. Yeah. Fly it and do the gum check. No, yeah, you can do gum stain, yeah, yeah, so gas, gas under curves, we can one in the mirror, mixture, props, Pro switches, which you have. Switches. Okay. Now you did that, now you're continually looking. So you're coming up to 7.5, you're coming up to 7 nautical miles, right? Yep. 7 on there, you should be at 4,700 feet at 7 nautical miles. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're 4,080. Slow down a little bit, you're a little fast. Right. There's seven nautical miles. You're at four. T you're a tad bit low, but you're okay right now, right? Mm -hmm. Next, it's gonna be six nautical miles. You'll be at forty-four. Forty-four. Yep. Yeah. So you just you can sit constantly looking at that. You're just making sure is it working? Is it not working? Six. Yep. I wish this cumulative number will be here. Yeah. That, like, unfortunately, it won't be. Again, in no. real life, that number will be closer to your face, and like mm -hmm. you can see it easier. In this plane, just. 
Six will be uh, 40, 40. 44. Just round up. Makes you want to be high than low. Yep. What's your minimum? Um, three thousand. Yeah. So I would round up even a little bit for that. So three thousand twenty, three thousand forty. Mm -hmm. So you don't go dip below that. Gotcha. Do not set the bug. Don't set the bug. What do, are you gonna set the bug to now? Uh, forty-four. Yes. Yeah, now really you can good. set the bug because you don't want to be. No, you see how you see how if you put that if you do that your BS canceled. Do you see how your BS canceled? Oh yeah. So don't go by thousands and go up. Yep. Because if it if it hits the bug, it's gonna stop it. Yep. You wanna go slowly with just the hundreds only. The hundreds. Yeah. Yep. Keep it above that. So here's your you're coming up to your fast crossing of bow bucks. You'll be yep. 40, 80. So you see how you're a little you you just you pretty much did it perfectly bang on, right? Yeah. Okay, now you're Don't coming up to border. four nautic miles. Four nautic miles, you should be at 3,800. Yep, 3,800 at four nautical miles. So, I think... That, like, go 400 feet? Yes, for a little bit, right? Yep. Yeah, the 500 so much. Uh, 3,800... 4.2... Yeah, looks good. 4.1... I would say so. You're pretty bang on, I would say. Yep. And then it goes to uh, 3430, so you can round down, you can round to 3450 or whatever. Yep, 34. Yeah. I would bring it back down to 500 feet per minute now, because you're a tad bit high. Mm -hmm. So it's coming up to three nautical miles, so 40, 3450. Just keep looking, keep comparing. So you're a little, a little high, right? So you yep. can go a little bit to 600 feet per minute if you want, just for a little bit, not for long. Just to catch it. Just to catch it a little bit, right? Maybe for like yep. 10 seconds. Two will be 30. 31, 31. right? Bring the power back a little bit. You want, you don't want to speed up, right? To there yet? Now you're coming up to it. Two point one. Two point around zero, 80 feet. Yeah, around 80. That's yeah, there you go. Decent. Go back to 500 feet per minute. If are you? Did you getting close? Now you're looking at your minimums, right? Yep. Minimums would be 3,000. Or round up to 30, 40. I would round up a little bit. Oops. We don't see the. Yeah. Uh, we don't see it. Push it. Go around. Yeah. Go, go around. On. Flaps first. One, one click up. Then gear. Positive rate. Then slaps again. That's the procedure, okay? Yep. You're above 500 feet, so go to go to cruise power for now. Follow your flight director. Go to cruise power. Just roughly, that's fine. I don't care. You bring the propeller back just a tad bit. There you go. Yep. Now hit nav. Or, yeah. Read GPS. GPS. Hit autopilot. G GPS active. Autopilot. FLC. Flight level change. 105. That is the actual procedure for the go round. That was smooth. That was much more smoother than before, right? <laughs> Just you fly the plane, mm -hmm. then you navigate because you go to GPS. Yeah. Then you can hit autopilot. You can do FLC first, then autopilot, but F autopilot, FLC. And then you, you want to do the autopilot first, so at least you're not, you know, you're turning, you're, you're bang on. It's just the speed that you need to. So play. the speed will be nose up, so your speed will be protected. Yeah. The only issue is you want to hit nav before your autopilot, because your autopilot will be on go round. It won't yep. know what it's doing. Yep. So you want to hit nav, then autopilot. Gotcha. Make sense? Yep. Now you say cooking late traffic in the mist. You missed your two calls, by the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Now you're leveling off. Wait. Fly the plane. So bring it to cruise power. You don't need to contact terminal. Mm. You can just wait, chill. Yeah, Eight no rush. Last. No rush. 22, 23. So yeah, cool. we missed the cooking yep. lake traffic and then the... Uh, just say cooking lake traffic, we're in the go round. We'll be switching to terminal now. Don't switch yeah. to terminal right away. I would actually, if I were you, go to procedure. Go to select approach. Uh, cancel, clear that. Scroll up. All the way up, and, and narrow knob to the left. Left narrow knob, yeah. And then go to CZBL. Enter, and uh, go down to ILS 26. That's right. Don't go by vectors. Go by something else. 
go by left till it doesn't matter. And then enter, enter, enter. We'll just load it. Yeah, there you go. Load it. Now, because you know the flight plan says you're going to go to Villeneuve, right? Yep. You have it nicely loaded up. So you can say now, now you can switch a terminal, say terminal echo file shot whiskey in the published missed approach level at 4,400 feet. They'll come back to you, say, Echo Fox Shot Whiskey, Roger, your radar identified. Climb and maintain 5,000 feet. When ready, direct Debka. Okay. Um, climb, maintain 5,000 feet. When ready, um, uh, direct Debka, Echo Fox Shot Whiskey. Yeah. So then you can go right there, direct enter, enter. Boom. And just climb. Because you didn't set how to climb. So BS, FLC, whatever you want to do. You see how smooth that is if you plan ahead of the aircraft? Because yep. you know you're gonna go to Villeneuve. Yep. So you might as well put it in there. Yep. And then just then call them because you can stay in the hold for as long as you want. They know what you're doing. It's just that uh, we landed on one zero and now we're landing on two six. Yeah, that's we did this, this calm, so I'm yep. gotcha. again, it's the same thing, right? It's magical training world. Yep. So we are dead go. Uh, five thousand. Uh, that's nine miles. Okay, cool. So now you want to start slowly thinking about doing your cruise checks in a bit. Not yep. yet. You're not cruising yet. And oh, then you will. Yeah. Yet. And then eventually you'll have to do your load verify stuff like that. That's the one thing we forget. We forgot the rain check too. Yep. But again, it's kind of quite slow. Sure. Dev go, we're still 25 months, we got a lot of time. Uh -huh. Come on, man. You pitch up, you don't want to go higher. You set it as 500. Don't say, don't blame the plane for what you wanted to do. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now do your cruise check. Yeah. Cruise check. Power, set the power 22, 23. We are there. Fuel pumps off. One at a time. Don't do, don't do it quickly like that. So you want to do one, check your fuel flow. Two, check your fuel flow. What do you mean? Oh, one. Like it's on. Yeah, it's on. And then turn, turn it off. Check your fuel check flow. Check the fuel flow if there's any uh, change. Why do we want to do that? Uh, to make sure uh, to check as well if it's working or not. Yeah, the engine driven pumps working too. Yeah. Remember what happened last time? You turn it off, it ended, and you're yep. like, what the hell? Turn it back on, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You want to make sure that the electrical fuel pump and the engine driven fuel pump work. Awesome. Fuel pump, mixture adjust, so basically. You just go around nine, nine, nine gallons per hour. Nine ish. gallons per hour. Which is fine, yeah. There we go. Mixture, flaps, it's close. Trim, trim. Makes Those sense? Yes. So sh I want you to show me how you would load the approach, verify the approach, tune identify, and brief it. I want to see all that now. So I'm merged, right? So uh, ILS, so to check we're looking at the right plate, ILS run. Yeah, so let's say, uh, pretend I'm your FO and you're briefing it to me. Okay. <laughs> ILS <laughs> runway 26, it was published. Uh, 28th of April this year, minimum 1,000, uh, 100 miles, 7,400. Where are we coming from? Will be 4,400, so we're clear. But uh, minimums, uh, we're flying ILS. Its minimums is 2,426. So round up? 2,5. No, 30. Round up by 10. 2430. Oh, 2430. Yeah. Uh, overshoot on miss approach climb to. 3300 heading 266 climbing right turn to 5500 to intercept outbound uh, YEG radio 338 to VEPT at 34 DME shuttle climb as required and then radio uh, radio we got we're not Getting it, yeah, we're too far uh, from the VOR or from the localizer, rather. So we got terminal 1188 for tower and then 120. 1208 for. Ground. Localizer, we're not getting it yet. Uh, da -da -da. 
timing uh, saying for 80 safety there's no safety message here that's significant and we are flying Debga Aslev and then the runway Debga Aslev and then the one is on the looking the pretty sink I'm good anything wrong with the plane right now uh, anything wrong with the plane? Twenty two. Look at the uh, alternator. It has an X. Yeah. So is it the left or right? It's the left. Yeah. So there's a checklist for it. Let's pull it up. in the plane. Mm. I had a pop-up like two days ago. Wow. And it was, a, it was a false thing, but it did pop up. So electrical load reduced less than 75 amps. So you see it? Do you see the amps? 59? Yeah. You're below. You'll hear it. This is what it sounds like if it's above 75. You see how it's beeping at you too? Mm. Saying it's too much? Just be aware. So the amps are actually not bad, but the volts of the battery is low, that's what it's telling you. Mm. But yes, if you turn everything on, it'll, 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 it'll be 75. Yeah. But you're under it, so you don't need, you don't, do you have to change anything? I mean, the landing lights and the taxi is on. Sure, you turn those on, you don't need those, right? Yeah. Other than that, uh, we're good. Failed alternator, uh, where is it? It's, it's right here. So turn it off. And then reset roll for uh, 215. So here's the alternator, right? No, uh, that's the old off member. This, the, the, you're gonna check the fuel pump off. This is the alternator down there, right? No, that, don't follow the row 15, just because that's, that's oh, actually the plane, this so, is wrong. So whatever is yeah, yeah. popping, basically, yeah. reset it. Well, no, but in the plane, it will be right. In the sim, it's not. Yep, gotcha. Yeah. And then turn it on. Let's see if it fixes it. Yep, there's no more X. And turn it on. That's it. The yeah, so then you say single failure. engine failure checklist complete. Single Just be professional. Okay, but you'll say it every single time when you're at the airline. When you read a checklist, you do it. Single, uh, you read the top of the title, say checklist complete. Single alternator failure checklist Check. complete. Right. Oh, perfect. Cool. I'm just going to disconnect your autopilot in three, two, one. You have control. Yeah. I can press the approach. 
Can I? No, you're not clear for the approach yet, which I'm gonna do now. Oh, Echo Fashion Whiskey, Baya Devka, you're clear the ILS 26 into Villeneuve. Baya Devka, clear to ILS 26, Villeneuve, Echo Fox or Whiskey. And you're clear. <laughs> there you go. And Makes then sense. Localize her arm. Yeah. And glide slope arm. arm. Thank you. You can set the heading bug to your final push fix. Two, two, two sec. Two, uh, two, two, six, six, two, two, six, six. Yeah. But you gotta turn here soon anyway, so. Good job on thinking ahead, right? Now, so you think ahead. You can't push that button until he clears you for the approach. Gotcha. Hey, watch out, Whiskey. Well, uh, you're in contact Villa Tower on 18. How many? Uh, switching to uh, Villa Tower 188. Hey, watch out, Whiskey. Thanks so much. Building the tower, this is Fox Road, Echo Fox Road, Whiskey, inbound ILS 26. Uh, tower, uh, Echo Fox Road, Whiskey, Tower, Roger, number one. Number one, Echo Fox Road, Whiskey. I see you're coming to, I was like, God, no, 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 but what's your rule? Control, so control the plane first. There you go. Left rudder. Power, so right to left. All the way up, all the way up. All the way up, throttle all the way up. Throttle all the way up. Drag, you have any drag? Drag. No, no, yeah, no drag. Identify which push dead engine. Uh, which dead push dead engine. So, Right. We'll pull the throttle back to verify. Pull the right throttle back to verify. Yep. Okay, verified. Okay, now verified. Fe now fe now fe fe feather it now. The right engine, right down, right all the way down, all the way down. Make sure all the way down. Fly the plane. Just that's it. You see how that came quick? Yep. Just fly the plane now. Okay. Fly the plane. Now you can see your glide slopes coming in. You're all the way in there. Yep. Put the gear down. Gear down. Follow the flight director. You're below 105, put two notches of flaps in. One, two. There you go. Now you're now follow the flight back. director. You want roughly 90 to 95 knots. And then just follow the power as to get it down. So I decrease the power a little bit because you're at full power. If you want, I'll do this for you, make your life easier. Um uh, not on full power yet. Yeah. It will speed up, be aware of that. And then, so now you got the, the nav, you got the flying portion down, AD portion down. Yep. You navigate it because you're following the glass of localizer. Yep. And then you communicate. What do you have to communicate. say? Communicate. So, uh, mayday. Yeah. So mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh, Fox or Echo Fox or Whiskey. Fox or Echo Fox or Whiskey. We got a single engine failure. We are requesting uh, assistance when we land. So I didn't know Echo Fox or Whiskey. Roger will fess them for crash and fire rescue. You're clear to land runway 26. Clear to land two six echo fox and whiskey. Well done. Yeah. So you say mayday, 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 fox, echo fox and whiskey. We have a engine. We have, we have a right to engine failure. Continuing on the approach for ILS two six. Request assistance on the ground. Well done. Makes sense. Yep. I'm just adding a little bit more information. You don't have to do it, but. Yep. Gotcha. I mean, it's more specific. Yeah. Your engine failure is a little bit on the weaker end, but it's, it's better than yesterday <laughs> or two days ago. <laughs> Minimums, do you remember? ILS uh, Land with full flaps in one engine? Uh, no. No, the POH actually recommends just 25. 25. Yeah. 
We're in 25. Yeah, so I'll just literally just when you see it land. Small changes. You do a little bit of crosswind, but just small. Just really pick that uh, flight edge of the flight director. Thirty is your minimums, right? You still have to be aware yep. of that. I know you're really focused on your flight director, yeah. but you have, to, you have to be aware of your minimums, right? Yep. Talk about it too. You could you could be really proficient. You have like 400 feet to go, mm -hmm. 300 feet to go, right? Yep. So right now, so 24, so 500 feet to go. Yep. Right. I wouldn't go five, four, three, two. I'd go 500, mm -hmm. then 200, 100 above mm -hmm. minimums. That's what yep. I would do. Yep. We are 400. Five hundred from the ground. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. So you are from the ground, but you were five hundred from your minimum. That's why you're saying. Yep. Yeah. Two <laughs> That's why. Okay. One hundred. We can see the runway. Fly the flight director, Trey. Just keep flying the flight director until you're almost over the runway. Just do like fifty percent flight director, fifty percent upside uh, up. This is how you just keep completely stabilized. Yep. Just keep flying. Don't pitch up too much. Keep flying. Flight director. Keep flying the flight director. Keep flying the flight director. Look up. Keep flying the flight director. Now you're pretty much there. Now I look up. Now land the flight. So I'll go to idle pretty much. Well, you see how it, it can change pretty quickly? Yep. Yeah, again, I don't judge your landing, just make it on the runway. It's okay. The sim is not like not the greatest. <laughs> Just keep it on the runway, or you'll still pass. Yeah. As long as it's on the runway. <laughs> there you go. We can break. Come to a complete stop. Tower will come to you and say, "Ekfaka, ekofasha, whiskey, crash and fire rescue is on 120.8." Switching to 120.8. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. And you say. Fire and rescue. Uh, this is Foxtrot Echo Foxtrot Whiskey on runway 26. We had a uh, right engine failure. Yeah, just so keep it simple. They know you're on 26. They will be following you when you land, yeah. right? So they'll say, uh, you know, red one is normally their call. Red one or red two. Foxtrot Echo Foxtrot Whiskey. We had a right engine failure. Just check in the visible damage on your oil spills hydraulic leaks. Can you repeat that? Oh yeah, so yeah, we had a right engine failure. Mm -hmm. Can you check if we have any visible damage? Oh, fire! So fire. You want them to, uh, yeah, they're there to help you, right? Gotcha. So they'll look at your engine. They'll say, "Okay, yeah, there's no fire, no smoke, no damage. It looks like you just had an engine failure." Mm -hmm. They say, "Okay, I can watch out whiskey." Uh, then they'll say, "Red one, Roger. Okay, thanks. So we'll switch to tower or ground and taxi off." But you can taxi and single engine this way. Really? Yeah. Huh. So you taxi single cool. engine off? Because why would you stop the runway operations when you could? Just I thought we were gonna be told or something. You can ask for a tow, but that takes longer. Yeah, gotcha. So if you, they're gonna ask you, can you taxi off? And the answer is yes, yes. you can taxi off. Sure. Make sense? Yep. Cool. Rescue, we're gonna taxi off. No, you're not actually gonna taxi off. <laughs> uh, turn all the lights off, the pedo heat, that, all that was off. And then the uh, avionics master off, alternator off, battery, stand master battery. There you go. You see this, this 
path is so much nicer. Let me come up. Yep. I'll show you the partial signal.